Beam down smoke. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be doing a 300 subscriber Q&A. So I wasn't originally planning to do anything special for 300 subscribers just because, you know, I would wait more for the bigger audience so that I could get a better video. But a lot of people wanted to actually see a Q&A from me, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. And uh, so I had you guys submit some questions on Discord. If you want to be part of something like this in the future, make sure you do go join the Discord channel. Uh, the link is in the description below. Also, I wanted to thank you guys real quick for all the support on my most recent video. Uh, it's getting a lot of views already, and uh, I just uploaded it today, so it might get more overnight and stuff like that. Most of my videos usually do. So anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for all the support, and thank you for 300 subscribers, and let's get into the questions and answers. All right, so the first question comes in from Bodbeck in my Discord server, and he asks, what inspired you to start making YouTube videos? And uh, this question is sort of a multi-faceted one, I guess. I have uh, had multiple reasons to start making YouTube videos. One of them is I'm really interested in CSGO skins and the marketplaces. I am really, really naturally good at economics, at least in my opinion, and uh, I performed well in a lot of economics classes. So uh, I do think that I have a pretty good you know, voice for the economics of at least some online markets. I've been involved with them for a very long time. I think ever since I was like eight years old, I've been doing online markets and stuff like that with even those back as far as like Roblox and stuff. So uh, that is kind of what was the interest and why I had interest in making videos. Um, also, I wanted to start making videos because I am going into, you know, uh, a very expensive aspect of my life right now. And if at some point I can make money off of YouTube, that would definitely help with that. Um, obviously, I care more about making good quality videos for you guys and building a nice community other than, you know, actually getting money off of it. But uh, that would be a nice little side bonus if that ever does happen. We are on track to it, of course, but, uh, you know, it's not a big deal to me. But that is what inspired me to start making videos. So thank you to Bodbeck for that question. The next question comes in from First Draw. He's a mod on my Discord server. Also, just quick shout out to him. He's a very good mod, very helpful. Um, but anyway, he asks me, what is the meaning of life? And uh, obviously, I know this is more of a joke question, but I decided to answer it seriously anyway, at least from my point of view. Uh, I think the meaning of life is doing what makes you the most uh, enjoyable and what makes you the most happy once you're at the point of on your deathbed. So when you're looking back on life and you're, you know, you're dying as a very, hopefully at a very old age and you don't die early, um, but if you're looking back on life and stuff like that, you should be looking back on a lot of really good memories and a lot of really good things that you've done for yourself at least. And I think that means you should always strive to make yourself the most happy you possibly can be. So like for me, for example, I am always trying to be on track of doing things that just make me really happy, things that I'm personally interested in and things that I'm going to enjoy doing. And, you know, I want to be in a place that, you know, makes me the most comfortable uh, with who I am and, you know, that kind of thing. So kind of a cliche answer there, but uh, thank you to First Draw for the question. Continuing with the joke question trend, we have another question from Bodbeck and he asks me, are you a virgin? I have no comments on that, so we're just going to move straight on. But seriously, guys, uh, don't worry about being a virgin or not being a virgin or whatever. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. It doesn't help you at all in your life. Just make sure you're doing what makes you happy, and uh, you'll be very successful. The next question comes in from First Draw as well, and he has sort of a introspective one. He says, am I real? Are you real? Are any of us real? Do we exist in a program to power the intelligent life that put us here? How do we know if every previous memory to this moment was not just falsely planted there? And most importantly, what are your thoughts on pineapple on pizza? So I guess it's a two-part question. Question. Um, so for the first question, obviously it's a very big one to uh, answer, but I think uh, what I usually, you know, what my go-to is to sort of this existential crisis sort of question is looking towards the philosopher Rene Descartes, who talked about the consciousness, the human consciousness, and how uh, he, he made the quotes, uh, I think, therefore I am, which basically proves that humans are conscious. Uh, if you if you can think of something, then it proves that you are conscious. And there's a whole video that I actually saw on this, and it's really, really good. So I'll link that video in the description below if I can find it. Uh, I do implore you to go check it out. It's a really good video. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's kind of what I go to when I'm talking about that existential sort of thing. Like if we're planted here, if all the memories are planted there. Uh, I think we are real. I think everybody's real. Uh, if you if you can think, then obviously you're a conscious person and you have your unconscious actions. So uh, yeah, hopefully that answered that pretty introspective question. Um, the next one is, what are your opinions on pineapple pizza? So uh, yeah, I've pretty much only had pineapple on pizza like three times, and usually it was like my last choice. Like sometimes it would be my parents would, were like, oh well, pineapple on pizza is actually pretty good, so let's get some, and then they'd bring it back, and it's like, oh well, it's not pepperoni pizza or pepperoni and sausage pizza, or you know. I like barbecue chicken pizza the best, personally, 
But uh, I, I do go for pineapple on pizza if it's the absolute last possible option and I'm just super starving. It's not something that I like. It's not something that I personally go for. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's, it's just something that I will take if it's the only possible option. The next question comes in from Soldats. He's the guy who made my intro, so shout out to him. And he's also helped with a ton of thumbnails as well. So big thanks to him. Huge shout out to Soldat. He's super awesome. But anyway, he asked me, what is my opinion on Boku no Pico? So, uh, Boku no Pico, if you don't already know, is a really, really weird hentai, so don't look it up. And, uh, the only reason I know that is because back in high school, a lot of my friends were, uh, you know, really, really into playing that on the bus at very loud volumes, so pretty much everybody could hear it. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of one of those meme hentai things. Super weird. I've never personally watched it, so I don't really think I can form an opinion on it. I just think it's weird personally, and, uh, I think it's kind of messed up, but, uh, yeah, kind of a, kind of a weird thing. Uh, so yeah, weird question, so that thanks, thanks for that. Uh, don't check it out. I mean, unless you're into that, I guess. The next question comes from Abby. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, so I'm just gonna say Abby, a newer member to my Discord, and they ask, "Are you you? Yes, very nice." Uh, I'm I'm not really sure if this is just lost in translation or uh, if it's like sort of one of the another meme question. Uh, I don't really know how to answer this. Uh, if you're asking if I'm nice. I mean, my brother doesn't consider me nice, but I'd say I'm pretty nice. I try to be nice to people that I don't know, at least. And uh, if you get to know me, I joke a lot about stuff, like pretty much 99% of the stuff that I say is a joke. And uh, yes, yeah, so that has actually gotten to me into trouble many times as well. I guess just on that note, I'll, I'll give you one of the times. Um, yeah, so there was this whole uh, thing at, at work where I work and uh, basically there were people that are managers at work that were writing negative things about me on the uh, on different sheets and stuff like that saying that I was giving them attitude but then I learned this from a manager who said that they were being dumb because they just weren't understanding that that's just my personality and I joke a lot um, but yeah I, I, don't worry I, I do work hard <laughs> I'm a hard worker I would say but yeah that's kind of where my personality's gotten me and yeah I guess I would say I'm, I'm nice to people I don't know uh, but that's sort of where I'm at, and uh, hopefully that answered the question. I don't know, I, I don't really understand it that well, but uh, thanks for the question anyway. Next question, also from Soldat, he asks, Did you tell your parents about your YouTube channel? And uh, yeah, I, I guess I kind of had to because I live in the same house with them uh, still. So I do kind of have to, when I'm recording videos, sometimes I'll just come up and ask, like, what were you doing or whatever? And that's kind of how they figured out. And I just kind of told them, it's not a big deal. You know, I don't make any like weird non-family friendly content. I don't say anything that I wouldn't want them to see. So I don't have any problem with them knowing about my channel. I know that they are both subscribed to me. And I, I don't know what their accounts are called. I can't like show you it, but I know they're both subscribed to me. And also I know my aunt is subscribed to me as well because my mom told her about it at some point. Uh, but yeah, I have told them about it. They, I don't, they don't think they, I don't think that they watch my videos, but they are subscribed to me at least. So they get notifications, I guess. But uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of where that ended up. The next question comes in from one of my head admins. Shout out to him as well. Super nice guy. Great, uh, great help with the server and stuff like that. Named Kowal. And Kowal asks me the question, how much money have I made from investing? And uh, it's kind of hard to say the accurate number that I've made from investing specifically. Uh, but I would say that I have made a lot from investing. Uh, my current main inventory that I have in my, on my main Steam account is not actually my only Steam account. I do have some storage accounts that I'm, I'm holding some of the investments on and stuff like that. And uh, don't worry, none of those are things that I have talked about specifically before. Um, none, none of those are like, you know, me trying to manipulate the market with my videos or anything like that. They're all stuff that I personally am investing in that I don't think is good enough for a video, but it's also not something that I'm, you know, manipulating the market with with my videos, you know. I'm not trying to do that. Uh, but I do have some storage accounts that I'm holding some skins on, so it is hard to say accurately how much I've made off of investing, but I would say that a lot of the stuff in my main account has all been sort of from investments, so my current main account is worth about like $650 or something like that. I don't know, that's probably inaccurate at this point, uh, but that is probably pretty much all from just investing and stuff like that. So I would say that uh, you could kind of accurately put it around $650. There is some random stuff on storage accounts though, um, but they don't have like full inventories or anything like that. So yeah, I'd say that's probably about how much I've made from just strict investing, just strictly that, you know. Uh, it's, it's hard to fully quantify it though, so I'm sorry if I'm not able to do that. Uh, but yeah, thank you for the question, and hopefully that somewhat answered it at least. The next question comes from, I believe it's Argo Boy on YouTube. Sorry if I got that wrong, but, uh, he has a Russian name on my Discord server. I don't speak Russian, so I don't know how to pronounce his name. But, uh, thank you for the question. He asks me if that, if the cost was not a factor, what country would I travel to? And uh, that one is going to uh, very undoubtedly be Japan. 
I do want to go there and I actually want to live there. And uh, I'm actually within the course of around the next year, I might actually be moving there, in fact, uh, and attending school. So yeah, I've been practicing a lot on my Japanese and stuff like that. I'm very, very much so deep into studying it. And uh, I really hope to live my life there, actually, and live a lot of the time there. And uh, probably going to end up going on a student visa within the next year or so. And then I'll probably end up going on a work visa after that and working as an English teacher. Uh, I do think I'm fairly good at English, so I don't think I'll have a much of a problem with that. Uh, my friend's brother is already doing that, and he's been very successful. So uh, I do just have to study a lot more with Japanese and get a lot more comfortable with it. Uh, but I'm you know, fairly decent at it already. I, I do know a few things here and there, obviously. Uh, like for example, Boku no namae wa Nelo desu, which means my name is Nelo. Watashi wa ego to nihongo ga hanasemasu, which means uh, I can speak English and Japanese. And then you have, for example, Pantsu uh, misete, which means show me your panties. I learned that from a channel called Sora the Troll, by the way. Uh, he's a really good channel, he's super funny. To go check him out as well. But uh, yeah, with that being said, I am working a lot on my Japanese and I hope to be able to move there successfully and be a good member of their society as well, I guess. So, uh, I, you know, that's that's kind of my dream. If So if no cost was the issue, then I would definitely go to Japan. All right, guys, so that's all we have for today. Thank you so much for everybody that submitted questions. You helped with this video's creation. And uh, thank you for being such an awesome community to get me to 300 subscribers. Hopefully, we'll have a lot more milestones in the future. I hope to grow this community so I can teach a lot more people about investing in CSGO items on the market. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Peace.